Hello students, my name is Adibet Vakhputa. Um, I am a teacher of Department of History of Kazakhstan in Social Humanitarian Disciplines. The theme of our lesson is basic concepts of the state, law and state legal phenomena. And today uh, we are going to speak about the concept, essence and science of the state, form of the state, the mechanism of the state, the concept, essence and attributes of law, sources of law and branches of law. The state uh, is a form of human association distinguished from other social groups by um, its purpose, the establishment of order and security, uh, its methods, the laws and their enforcement, its territory, the, er the area of um, jurisdiction or geographic boundaries, and finally by its sovereignty. Uh, state is a polity under a system of governance. There is no undisputed definition of a state. A widely used uh, definition from the German sociologist uh, Max Weber is that a state uh, is a polity that maintains of monopoly on the legitimate use of violence. Also, other definitions are not in common. The word state uh, and its cognates um, in some other European languages, Stato in Italian, uh, Estado in Spanish and Portuguese, uh, Etat in French, Stat in German, ultimately derive uh, from the Latin word status, meaning um, <clears throat> condition and circumstances. The early 16th century works of Machiavelli, especially the prince, played a central role uh, in, in popularizing the use of the word state in something uh, similar to its modern sense. And theories of on the origin of state. Um, <clears throat> the oldest uh, theory about the origin of the state is the divine origins theory. Uh, it's also known as the theory of divine right, uh, right of, of kings. The exponents uh, of this uh, theory believe uh, that the <clears throat> state didn't come into being by any effort man. It's uh, created by God. And second uh, theory is uh, patriarchal theory. The principal exponent of this theory uh, is Sir Henry Main. According to him, uh, the city is conglomeration of several families uh, which developed under control and authority of the eldest male member of the family. The head or father of the um, patriarchal family wielded great power and influence upon the other members of the family. And next theory is matriarchal theory. The chief exponent of this theory are Morgan, McLennan and Edward uh, Jenks. According to them, there was never any patriarchal family in the primitive society and, the, uh, and that the uh, patriarchal family came into existence only when the institution or permanent marriage was invoked. <clears throat> the kinship was, was uh, established uh, throughout uh, the mother. And, um, Another early theory of origin, um, in origin of the state is the theory of force. The exponents of the theory hold that words, uh, wars and aggressions by some powerful tribe were the principal factor, factors in the creation of the state. They rely on the uh, oft gods saying, uh, war begot the king as the historical explanation on the origin of the state. The force or um, might prevailed over the right in the primitive society. A man physically uh, strongly established his authority uh, over the less uh, strong persons. Uh, the strongest person uh, in a tribe is therefore um, made the chief or leader or of that tribe. And next, uh, social contract theory. The most famous theory with regard to the origin of the state is the social contract theory. 
the, um, <clears throat> according to this theory, there were two divisions in, his, in human history. Uh, one period is prior uh, to the establishment of the state called the um, state of nature, and uh, the other period is one um, subsequent uh, to the foundation of the state called the civil society. The state of nature was bereft of society, government, and political authority. Uh, there was no law, no regulate the relations of the people in the state of nature. And the next theory is uh, Marxian theory. The Marxist theory or, uh, of orig origin of the state is as based in class struggle as subjected to the following fierce criticism. In the first place, uh, it's nowhere stated in history that state in its origin uh, and linked with the class struggle. In the second place, uh, there might be um, different class interests, but it's difficult to see that uh, these classes were at arms as the Marxists have us to believe. <clears throat> the classes, uh, on the other hand, cooperated with each other and uh, contributes in their way in the composite development of the state. Next, the essence of the state. The essence of the state is the main uh, natural quality, property, attitude of the state, which remains unchanged throughout the entire time of its development, determines its goals and uh, is the source of development. The question um, uh, of this um, essence uh, of the state uh, is problematic due to the fact that uh, people's views uh, on the state are extremely subjective and depend on the specific historical uh, state of the state which um, in which uh, they live on the political attitudes and beliefs of their time. The state uh, is revealed uh, in a variety of ways uh, and it's very difficult theoretical task to establish its permanent natural qualities. In modern science, Mm, the volitional concept of the essence of the state dominates. It's based on the consideration of state power as, as a kind of social power. The essence uh, of uh, any social power is based on the social will, that is mm, the desire of the subject, uh, subjects of power achieve the goals that determine uh, their needs. To understand um, the essence of the essence of state means to understand the will uh, which subject are carried uh, out um, through the state power what goals are achieved by the subject uh, through the um, state power the volitional volitional concept of the essence um, of the state is divided into three areas class approach it was formed in the 18 or 19 centuries uh, and received it last, its last theoretical justification in the works the, of the social democrats. And uh, two, uh, the second um, area is its general social approach. The essence of the state is that is um, an organization that expresses the will uh, of whole society and services um, as a mean to achieve the public good. And <clears throat> uh, dualistic approach uh, tries to eliminate the shortcoming of the first uh, and second approaches and combines them. The essence of the state in this case is born as uh, an apparatus of class violence, but uh, <clears throat> as it develops, it's, it, it strives to achieve the social good and express the will of all, society, all, uh, all social groups. And <clears throat> science of, uh, of the state, the existence of a law and the sovereignty of a state, the, present, uh, the presence of a certain territory that is subject to the authority and jurisdiction of the state. And then and uh, um, the existence of a special system of bodies and institutions that performs uh, perform uh, on the 
function of the state power and monopoly on the lawful use of uh, force. The right of mandatory collection of taxes and other mandatory payments, which uh, ensures its economic independence and um, farm of the state. The farm of the state is structure, a certain model of the internal structure of the state, including its territorial organization, principles, methods of formation and interaction of these authorities, uh, as well as methods of exercising power that then ensure uh, the Im implementation of a certain state policy. And uh, <clears throat> elements of uh, state farms, the, at first, at the form of government, is a form of element state which determines uh, the organization of the super bodies of the of state power are the order of the formation the timing of activities and the competence and uh, order the of interaction of these bodies among themselves uh, and with the public mm, and <clears throat> second elements of the state of state farms uh, and, is form of government of the state structure. Is it's uh, a method, a territorial organization of a state uh, or states for forming a union and <clears throat> defines the internal uh, structure of the state, its division uh, into its constituent uh, parts or territories and principles of their relation, relationship to each other. And next uh, elements of state, uh, <clears throat> political regime is a set of means and methods by uh, which the ruling elites uh, exercise economic, political and ideological power in a country. And next question is law. Uh, <clears throat> Law is a concept of jurisprudence, one of the types of regulators of public relations, a system of generally uh, binding, formally defined, accept in accordance with the established pre procedure, uh, guaranteed uh, by the state rules of conduct, uh, they regulate uh, public relations, individuals, theories of the origin of law are considered in connection with the corresponding theories of the origin of the state. There are um, conciliarity, uh, regularity, uh, theological, natural law, historical, Marxist theories of the origin of law, and uh, the theory of legal specialization. The essence of law based on the type uh, of legal understanding Positivism at first, at second, and neo-positivism. Principles of law uh, are the <clears throat> initial, fundamental uh, principles that must um, characteristically express the essence of law, legally fixing the real foundation of regulated um, shares uh, of public relations. <clears throat> And um, various sci uh, scientists identify the following most common features of law. It's um, <clears throat> there are normativity, general application, guaranteed by the state, intellectual and volitional character, uh, and formal definition, and systematic. Uh, branches of law and um, area of the legal system, which uh, is a set of legal norms that regulate <clears throat> um, uh, qualitativity in homogeneous group of public relations. The industry and characterize it by the uh, peculiarity of the subject of method and legal uh, re regulations. And thank you for your attention.